Hello, I'm Matt Passaccio, and welcome to Historic Kelleher Field for tonight's live presentation of Marlboro High Football as the Panthers host the Westboro Rangers here on the last weekend of the regular season. Westboro comes into this one 6-1. and one. They lost week 1 13-12 at Burlington, but have rattled off six straight wins. They're scoring 29 points per game and allowing just nine points per game. And on the other side, we find our Marlboro Panthers, who come into tonight's contest with a 5-2 record overall and are 2-1 and one in league play. They, last, they lost last week to Shepherd Hill 40-16. They're scoring 26 points per game while allowing 17. So will the Panthers walk away tonight with a share of the Midwalk B title? Or will the Rangers take it for themselves on the road here in Marlboro? Tensions will surely run high tonight, so stick around with us over the next couple of hours here on WMCT-TV. Panthers donning their traditional orange uniforms with black lettering, orange helmets, and black pants. Westboro on the other side, white on white with the crimson trim and crimson helmets. Game time temperature of 66 degrees. It'll drop down to about 64 by the end of the night. Beautiful evening for football here in Marlboro. Slight northeast breeze, four to six miles an hour, so the wind should not play a factor. It's senior night here for Marlboro. Marlboro honoring its seven seniors slightly pre uh, before the game but we'll have a post game ceremony so make sure you stick around after the game with us for that and at halftime as always the Panthers uh, marching band will be performing as well so make sure you stick around with us during halftime as well we should have the opening kickoff in just a minute again thank you so much to everyone out there spending a couple of moments of their Friday night along with us here on WMCT-TV, Marlboro's community TV station. We certainly do appreciate it. A lot of options out there, especially on a Friday night, so thanks for being with us. So what's at stake tonight is if the Panthers can come away with a victory here against the 6-1 and one Rangers. Both they and the Rangers will have matching 3-1 and one league records. And if Shepherd Hill takes care of business tonight too, and they win, all three teams will be three and one in league play, and all three will share the Midwalk B League Championship heading into the state tournament. Senior captain Fernando Rodriguez set to kick it away. Dan Hackett back to receive the kick. And it's actually misplayed. Recovered in the end zone by number 11. Taken out to about the 17 yard line where the Rangers will begin their first drive here of the evening. Ranger offense led by quarterback number 12, Andrew Pichotta. And their lead back is Camden. Mitralia, number 23, who comes in too today with 650 yards rushing on the season and six touchdowns. Huge issue for the Panther defense last week was trying to control the line of scrimmage as Shepherd Hill ran all over them all game long. So we'll see whether or not Westboro leans on the rushing attack. Looks like we had a little bit of motion there before the first snap. That looks like it's going to be a false start against Westboro. That'll push them back five yards. As I said earlier, you know, thank you so much for watching tonight's live broadcast of Marlboro Panther football. If you're watching us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. If you're on Facebook, make sure you hit the like button so you never miss any Panther, Shamrock game during the summer, any type of live sports coverage that we can provide for you. And we encourage you to engage with us on Facebook and other social media platforms. Just please keep it clean. Another a little bit of motion there before the snap, but it's kept by Bashada this time. Runs up the middle and able to gain a few there. Gains mostly everything back from the penalty. Shot in the shotgun. Fakes the handoff. 
Pass over the middle. It is broken up by Rodriguez. Number three, Fernando Rodriguez breaks up the pass. And that puts Westboro in an early third and long here on their opening drive. Ranger offensive line comprised of Rogers, Bomfrum, Messam, Montalvo. Wow, passes, and it's picked off, intercepted. Quick pass play over the middle, and it is intercepted by number 45, Seamus Mahoney. Seamus, the sophomore linebacker. Lurking over the middle, comes up with the intercession and gives Marlboro great starting field possession for their first drive. Number seven, junior Mike Benway. Handoff goes up the middle. Not much room there to run as the Westboro defensive line swallows up number 10, Akrif Semakula. So we've got Ian Pizarro, number eight, bottom of your screen, then Tyler Moore, number 11, the tight end. We've got Borges and Rodriguez as Benway rolls out of the pocket, throws towards the sideline. Pass incomplete for Rodriguez. Benway in the shotgun. Drops back, looks left. There was a screen pass for Semakula. Semakula able to pick up a few. However, he will be well short of the line to gain. Takes it down to the 26. So a gain of five there on third and 13. However, still be well short as I said. It'll be fourth down and eight. Coach Mahoney will keep the offense out there on the field. in the backfield. And before the snap, we'll have a penalty. False start on the Panthers. It'll back them up and make this fourth down more difficult. So the two receivers at the top of the screen are Don Mealy and Fernando Rodriguez to go along with Ian Pizarro and Tyler Moore. Mealy in motion. Benway rolls out to his right, throws it up. He's got a man. He's got Pizarro for a touchdown. Hack of a throw there from the junior, Mike Benway. Benway to Pizarro for six. Rodriguez, the kick is up. It is blocked. No good. So with almost three minutes gone here in the opening quarter, the Panthers jump out to a 6-0 lead as we'll take a quick break here on WMCT-TV. I don't know why you're so sad. You've got a roof over your head. you got to stop with that depression stuff. That's a white people thing. You all right? It just feels like it's coming from everywhere. 
Do you want to talk about it? You can talk to me if you're feeling sad. Whenever you need to talk, I'm here, okay? Exciting start here at Kelleher. Benway to Pizarro. After an interception by Seamus Mahoney. As the Panthers up 6 to nothing. Kick off away and fielded by 11. Past the 30. To the 34 and taken down. I don't mean to just call him 11. There's no number 11 here on my roster, so for right now, he is 11. Somebody would like to engage with us on show, uh, social media and let us know what number 11's name is. I would greatly appreciate it. No disrespect to 11 or his family or the Stranger Things franchise. So first down and 10 at the 34. Machada in, second drive. Petralia gets the handoff and he is swallowed up at the line. Quickly tackled by number 53, Pedro Ramos. Ramos the junior makes the tackle for a one yard loss. So it'll be second down and 11 for the Rangers. Rangers in their high-powered offense haven't been able to muster much here in their first few plays. Shot in the shotgun. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, looks up the middle. Another pass that's almost intercepted. Rodriguez looking for the offensive pass interference. No call will be made. Dangerous pass there from Bashada. Almost had his second interception in as many drives. Rangers break the huddle with four wide receivers. Shot is still in the shotgun. Drops back. Looks right. Has a receiver on the sideline, but overshoots him. Overshoots. Glad receiver number 87. Again, not in my roster, so he is 87. Somebody out there, help me. I need number 11. I need number 87. Less than a week away from Halloween. We've got plenty of fans in the stands with costumes on. They're on fourth and 11, they'll punt. But 11 drops it. 11 drops it again. The ball is loose. But he's able to recover. However, the Panthers will take over on downs inside the red zone. Inauspicious start here for the Rangers in just the start that the Panthers were looking for. Westboro not looking like a team that's won six straight, that's for sure. Handoff goes up the middle. And Rodriguez is stuffed at the line. No gain, maybe even a loss of one. Gorgeous night here in Marlboro. You don't get a lot of nights like this, this late into October. Benway under center. Handoff goes up the middle. And again, not much room to run. It's 
time. Samakula with the carry. Again, marked as a no gain. Consecutive no gains leads to third down and 10. Benway rolls it to his right. He's got a man. Moore inside the 10. Dives his way to the 6. That should be enough for a Panther first down. As the chain gang begins to move. So that'll be first down and goal. Ball will actually be placed at the eight. Got a little ahead myself there by saying it was at the six. So it's first and goal at the eight as we approach the midway point here of the first quarter. Panthers looking to add to their six nothing lead. The give is inside again, again. Semakula has nowhere to go. Frustrating start for the run game so far for the Panthers. has had some success in the air so far. We'll see whether or not Coach Mahoney trusts him enough to air it out here with eight yards to go. Benway under center. The snap was fumbled. Benway quickly able to recover. Lost a couple there. They did. Ball will be spotted at the 10. Third and goal from the 10. See if they play conservative. They're trying to take a shot at the end zone. Anyway, rolls to his left. Throws it up, has a man. However, multiple Rangers there to take the ball carrier down. It'll be a loss on the play. Coach Mahoney has sent the call in. They are lined up as though they'll go for it here on fourth down. And they draw the Rangers offside. Instead of fourth and goal from the 14, it'll be fourth and goal from the nine. Big play early in this game. And Coach Mahoney recognizes the significance of the moment. He calls a timeout to ready his troops. And we'll take a quick timeout as well. 3.51 to go here in the opening quarter. Panthers have the ball, fourth down, here on WMCT-TV. You're watching WMCT-TV Marlboro. All right, welcome back to Kelleher. Panthers facing a fourth and goal here from the nine. Benway takes a shotgun snap, rolls out to his right. It's being chased, throws it up, has a man. Oh, ho, ho. nice pass there from Benway under pressure. Pass intended for Dom Mealy. Pass was broken up though. Nice play by the defensive back. Nice play all around. Panthers, however, come up short there on fourth down, and the Rangers will take over on downs. Down. 
interception on their first drive and turnover on downs on their second drive. Rangers looking to pick up their first first down. The quarterback will keep it himself. Run off right tackle. Nice gain on there. Nice gain on first down. Able to pick up seven. Officially marked as a six yard gain. Charlie in the backfield there with Bashada. Gets the pitch. Tries to get to the outside. Past the 20 and taken down at the 21. That'll be enough for a Ranger. First down. Inside three minutes here in the opening quarter from Kelleher Field. As the 5 and 2 Panthers take on the 6 and 1 Westboro Rangers. If Marlboro can pull off the victory. They will have at least a share of the Midwalk B title. Shada again looking to run. Oh, and taken down quickly. Multiple Panthers there. Looked like that was Ramos again. And Javier Huertas. to our new part-timer, James, with the sideline shots this evening. Alex O'Neill in our main tracking shot. Our assistant executive director, Mike Lawton, the director this evening. Shada looks right, throws it up as a man. Big 87. Still haven't had any responses on social media with that Name for number 87. Come on, guys. <laughs> need, need, need your help out there. I'm going to start calling him Gronk if he starts making some big plays. But big number 87 pulls in the catch. Enough for another Ranger first down there, second here on the drive. Under a minute to go here in the first. Shot it drops back, looks left, throws it up, and it's oh, almost intercepted and caught! Past the 50! Into Panther territory, what a catch! A fortuitous bounce right into the waiting arms of number 25, Dan Hackett. I believe that was Calvin McFarlane there with the pass deflection. From this angle, it looked like he could have had the interception on that one, went through, excuse me, went right through his hands. And Hackett comes down with it for another Ranger first down. And we're gonna have a timeout here on the field. And you know what, we're gonna take a timeout as well. Actually, no, it's not a timeout, it's the end of the quarter. So, at the end of one, Panthers leading the Rangers six nothing here on WMCT TV. And welcome back. Oh, i got to put the microphone in front of my mouth. That's how microphones work. Welcome back for the beginning of the second quarter here at Kelleher. Rangers on the move with three first downs already on the drive. First time they've made their way into Panther territory. Nishada takes a snap. There was some movement up front. Let's see who it's on. Early indication.
offside on the Rangers. Side handoff goes to Petralia. And he stood up. Able to gain a couple on that uh, inside handoff. And um, I can neither confirm nor deny whether that is the best looking chain gang I have ever seen. Thank you, though, for the, uh, the engagement. We certainly appreciate you. Second down and 11 for Westboro. Ball on the Panther, 46. Shada is looking over the middle. He's got a man, ball's up. Oh, that's picked off. What a play to high point the ball. Huertas comes up with the pick. Another questionable pass there from Posada. And Marlboro comes up with their second turnover here of the game. So interception, turnover on downs, and interception so far for the Ranger offense. Panthers able to capitalize on the last turnover. However, the field is much longer this time. Inside handoff. Rodriguez falls forward for a couple. Mealy checks out. And Panther senior, senior captain, Miguel Borges checks in. Unfortunately, we do have a Ranger down. But while I have your undivided attention for a moment, I do have a question. Have you missed your favorite WMCT program? Don't you worry. Just head over to our website at WMCT-TV.com. Click the Watch tab and browse through our catalog of original programming as well as archived city council, subcommittee, and school committee meetings. So thanks to uh, Melissa Crow out there for back-channeling some information. So number 87, Luke Hadley, and number 11 is Jake Martin. Appreciate you very much out there. Westboro player was helped to the sideline. We're back to the action here. Just over a minute gone in the second quarter. Another handoff. That does not go very far. Panther run game has struggled to this point. out to his right. Uh, we've got a hold. That is going to be a hold, I believe. 
on the Panther offensive line as Ben Wade tried to make his way out of the pocket. That'll back them up 10 yards. After the play, Rangers decide to decline, bringing up fourth down. And the Panthers will punt. And uh, number 11, who we've just learned his name, Jake Martin, back to return the punt. Gets it away. It's a halfway decent one. And it takes a sideways bounce. And will be downed in Panther territory at the 48. Well, the Panther offense has come away empty-handed after their last couple of possessions. However, they still lead 6-0. Rough start for Pashada here in the early going of this game. A couple of interceptions to his tally already. Four receivers, Petralli there as he backs up. Looks right. It's got Hadley. Hadley, the big target. Able to pull it down after a gain of about eight yards. Officially marked as seven. Bring second down and three. Ball at the Panther 42. Oh, terrible snap. Goes over Pashada's head. Bills have to fall on top of it, but he can't. The ball's still loose, and the Panthers have it. There was a flag on the play, so we'll have to see what that flag is. However, if the play stands, the Panthers have their third turnover in four drives. Penalty will be declined. The Panthers will keep it. Rough first half here for the Ranger offense. An opportunity to claim the league title for their own, and they've shot themselves in the foot a few times here so far. And what's been 15 minutes of actual gameplay. Toss to the outside. Borges has it. And solid pickup on first down. Board is able to pick up six. Set up second down and four. Off up the middle. Inside handoffs haven't gone very far so far for the Panther offense. Westboro defensive line doing a nice job limiting them. Gorgeous's carry of two sets up third down and three. Another handoff goes to Borges. Nowhere to go. Oh, 
Marlboro hurrying to the line on fourth down. They may be trying to draw Westboro offsides like they did on their last drive. Westboro doesn't flinch. Marlboro calls a timeout. 7.01 to go here in the second quarter. We'll take a quick break here as the Panthers lead 6-0. Really nice crowd on hand here tonight. Both sides field across the way to the Westboro side. They've got their sideline or their uh, stands nearly full. Nearly a packed house on our side here too. Great showing here from the community supporting their Panthers. So the Panthers facing fourth down and three. Benway looks left. He's got Rodriguez. Can he break a tackle? Not sure. Does look close. Looks like they, they may measure it. I don't know if we can get a shot there. The chain gang coming out to measure that. Nice shot there. It looks like he's just short, just short, a couple of links. Westboro comes up with the defensive stand they needed. Now they get the ball back. Panthers were able to cash in. Score a touchdown off the first Ranger turnover. However, the last couple, Marlboro has not been able to do anything with it. So that'll keep the score 6 nothing with 6.53 to go here in the first half. Panthers rush four. Pashada keeps it himself. And gang tackled after a yard or a gain of a yard, possibly two. Defenses certainly played well here in the first half. Currently shutting out a Ranger team that scores 29 points per game. Shot it takes a shotgun snap. Looks right. Has a man and just overthrows. Hackett. Hackett had a step on his man, but the shot it can't find him. Now Westboro facing another third and long. Four receivers, three to Pashada's right as he takes the shotgun snap. He's got Hadley going across the middle, bounces up, and another intercepted! Mahoney, another interception! Pashada hit Hadley right in the hands. 
Ball hit his face mask, bounced up, and right into the arms of Seamus Mahoney. Second pick of the day for the sophomore. Have a day, kid. Justin, you couldn't write it up any better for the Panther defense at this point. Having forced four first half turnovers. But Benway, his first drop back after the turnover, trips over his lineman's foot. Take on a three, possibly four yard loss there on first down, setting up second down and 14. We just passed the midway point of the second quarter. Then with a toss to Borges. Borges trying to get to the outside. Picks up the yards lost on first down and then some. Borges' carry on second down goes for eight, so Marlboro will face a third down and six. Borges in motion, Benway takes a snap, throws quick. And Rodriguez reels it in. And that should be enough for a Panther first down. Nice quick release there from Benway. Four minutes to go here in the half. Ball spotted just outside the red zone at the 23. Big first down conversion there. If nothing else, it'll help kill some of the clock and help Marlboro maintain this lead heading into the half. But Mike, we can't hear you. Panthers are looking for points. Looking to make this a two possession game. Benway under center. The toss goes to Borges. Borges looking to follow his blockers. Has to cut back. And eventually three Rangers take Borges down after a loss. Big loss for Borges there, seven yards, sex, sets up second down and 17. But Benway lofts it up, he's got a man! Ho 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 ho, Benway! What a pass! Excellent touch on that pass. Hits Rodriguez in stride. Touchdown Panthers. Benway laid that one up perfectly. Rodriguez had a couple of steps on his man. Just an excellent play all around as the Panthers take a 12-0 lead. Extra point was blocked last time, so we'll see if Rodriguez can get it up. And in. PAT is good. So with 2.46 to go here in the first half, the Panthers take a 13-0 lead as we take a quick break here on WMCT-TV. Rodriguez set to kick. He nubs a squibber. Played at the 28. Taken past the 40. Up to midfield. So the Rangers will take over for their next drive right near midfield. Looking for their first points here of the game. The Rangers to this point have had one, two, three, four, five possessions 
interception, turnover on downs, interception, fumble, and interception. Hackett at the top, whoop, excuse me. You've got Hadley at the bottom of your screen. Hackett, the slot receiver at the top. Rashada fakes it. Throws across the middle to Hackett. Nice catch in traffic as he makes his way inside the 35-yard line. Clock rolling inside of two and a half minutes. Score would be a massive momentum swing here for the Rangers, considering how this first half has gone. Swing pass goes to Petralia. Works his way to the sideline. And gets inside the 20. Big chunk play there for the Rangers. 150 to go in the first half. And just a reminder, don't go anywhere during our halftime break as we will be showing the performance from the Marlboro High Marching Band. Right, rolls right, looking for a man, has pressure. Did he get sacked? Did he go down? That looked like that knee might have been down before he got rid of it. And it looks as though, it looks as though they're going to mark him down. And they will throw a flag and I believe that will be for intentional grounding as there were no receivers in the area. So that'll be a 10-yard penalty and a loss of down. Excuse me, just a five-yard penalty, not 10. Shadow looks left, goes across the middle. Hackett has it and taken down quickly. Rodriguez with the quality open field tackle. And with 1.15 to go, and Westboro facing a third and 20, they'll take a timeout, and we will too. I'll see you on the other side of the break. 13 nothing Panthers. So officially third and 18. Shada lobs it up to the end zone. Hadley there. It's poked and picked off. Another interception, this time by Taylor Moore. And Moore takes it out past the 20. House of horrors Kelleher is for Andrew Rashad. Four turnovers alone for the Rangers here in the second quarter, including three interceptions. Four interceptions total. As Westboro continues to be held scoreless by this Marlboro D.
And off, Borges, Borges cuts back. Nice run for Miguel Borges. 50 seconds to go here in the half. We'll see whether or not Marlboro's content on just sitting on it and taking this 13 point lead into the break, or if they'll take a shot. But seeing how they're huddling with 35 seconds to go leads me to believe that they are content with the lead they have. And that run play doesn't seem to be going anywhere. And with 10 seconds to go here in the half, it looks as though that will be our last play. But what a first half it's been for the Panthers. The defense has forced five turnovers. That's right, not one, not two, not three, not four, but five first half turnovers and lead this one 13 to nothing as we enter halftime. Please, don't go anywhere. We will have the performance of the Marlboro High Marching Band to look forward to. So we'll see you on the other side of halftime. You're watching WMCT-TV Marlboro.
Hey, welcome back after our extended halftime there. Nice performances by both the Westboro and the Marlboro marching bands. Just a completely unexpected first half of action. The Westboro offense, which has been scoring 29 points on average, has been held scoreless. Five first half turnovers, including four interceptions from Posada. Short kickoff. Handled past the 20 as he gets past the 30 and out to the 33 yard line. Mealy there with the return. Highlights for the Marlboro offense in that first half. After the opening interception for Westboro, Marlboro comes right back. Touchdown pass from Benway to Pizarro. And late in the second quarter after another interception, Benway throws his second touchdown of the day to Rodriguez. First play. And off up the middle, able to muster a yard, maybe two. I would imagine Marlboro will be keeping the ball on the ground a lot in this second half, looking to churn up clock. Looking to get out of dodge here with a win. Marlboro looking to clinch a share of the Midwalk B regular season championship here tonight with a win. Another handoff to Borges, looks to bounce out, turns back around. Still on his feet and eventually taken down. Seven yard loss there on second down for Borges. We'll set up third and 17 with the ball spotted at the 26 yard line. Benway in the shotgun. Quick bubble screen out there to Rodriguez. Tries to get to the sideline, taken down. And a horse collar tackle there by Hadley. Draws the flag and will give Marlboro a first down. And the Panther student section politely letting Hadley know that he is not allowed to do that. I'm sure he will take that into consideration next time. Westboro looking for any type of momentum they can grasp at, and that, that's not going to do it. 15-yard personal foul, horse collar penalty. So first down for the Panthers as they jog to the line of scrimmage. The give is to Borges, who looks to get to the outside. Not able to find the edge and is taken down for what well, looks to be no gain. Two minutes gone here in the second half. And again, while we have a short break here, I just have another question for you. Have you ever thought about making your own TV show? Perfect. Just get in touch with our station's access supervisor, Alex O'Neill, at our offices on 91 Main Street here in Marlboro by calling us at 508-481-1373, and we'll take you through the basics of using a camera, editing your footage, and turning your dreams into a reality. Quick handoff again to Borges, and he is lit up. Linebacker comes flying in and makes the big hit. We're just going to check out after that one. Or 
Burgess has been held in relative check so far. Came into the game with 725 rushing yards, 11 total touchdowns. Benway to his left, tosses it up, has a man. Oh, in and out of Mealy's hands. Don't get me wrong, that would have been a tough catch. However, Mealy did get a hand on it. Panthers certainly taking their shots downfield in this one. It's the punt off. It's a nice one. Taken down the left sideline by Martin. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41 where the Rangers will begin their second drive here of the second half. Shout out again in the shotgun. Takes it. Hands it off. 23 trying to get to the outside. Cuts it back up the middle. Gets across midfield. And then it's taken down at the 47. Petralia with the carry. Showed some nice elusiveness there. Cutting it back up the middle. Four minutes elapsed here in the third quarter. Panthers continue to lead this one 13 to nothing. Certainly not the game that we anticipated coming into this one. The give again is to Petralia. Takes first contact in the backfield. There's a flag on the play. It looks like it might be holding. Early indications are that it is going to be holding against Westboro. I'm just going to go ahead and say this. I would imagine that this is Westboro's worst game offensively up to this point this season. I don't think that that's much of a stretch. But an offense that scores nearly 30 points a game can turn it around in an instant. Again, Petralia with the handoff. Goes left, off tackle. Gains about seven yards on the carry. Officially marked as a six yard gain there on first down. It's gonna be second down and 14. Nearly halfway gone here in the third. Luke Hadley at the bottom of the screen. Shada looks deep, looks left. He's got a man. Hackett reels it in. 
Still in bounds. Does he score? Oh, what an athletic play. An incredible catch. Strength and agility to tiptoe the sidelines, and he scores as Westboro strikes. Heck of a pass there from Bashada. High snap, the kick is up and it is no good. Rangers connect on a long pass play from Pashada to Hackett as they cut the 13 point lead down to just seven with 6.23 to go here in the third. Let's see how the Marlboro offense responds after this. Everything in this game had gone Marlboro's way up to that point. So we'll see whether or not whether or not Westboro can carry some of this momentum in their upcoming drives. Short kick, fielded at the 20. Calvin McFarland takes it to the 27, where Mike Benway and the Panther offense will come out for their next drive. Benway rolls out of the pocket again, has an open receiver. But Pizarro had to go in and out of his hands, incomplete. It's been a very busy week for us at WMCT-TV, live broadcasts each evening. Monday night we had the city council meeting that lasted nearly three hours. I'm sure most of you were tuned in for that one. Tuesday night school committee meeting. Wednesday we had the ward councilor debates. Last night we went live with the Hor uh, Horribles Parade on Main Street. And tonight we are here at Kelleher Field for Marlboro Panther football. Again, Benway rolling out of the pocket, floats it up. Oh, terrible pass is picked up by Martin. Throwing across his body. Mike Benway, who's had a very good game to this point, throws up a tough pass that's easily intercepted. So within the course of a minute of game action, things have turned on their head. 6-0-1 to go. The Rangers trailing by just seven now. And they'll be dealing with a short field ball at the 27-yard line. A quick score could be disastrous here for Marlboro. And uh, Petralia up the middle. 
Still on his feet, rumbles inside the 20, down to the 16. 11 yard gain on first down. <laughs> the buzz here at Kelleher has dissipated. Anxious energy fills the stands. Shada, again hand off Petralia, up the middle. And he falls forward. Pickup of, looks like three yards there on first down. Hadley and Hackett, bottom of your screen. Shada looks left, but has to roll out right. There's a flag on the play in the area of holding. Slight gain there on the play, but let's look at the flag. It is holding on Westboro. So now instead of second and seven, it's second and 17 as we approach four minutes to go here in the third. Petrala with the gain again. Big run, still on his feet. Moving the pile. Still isn't down. Tough running there by Number 23, Camden Petralia. <laughs> and it looks like it is enough for a first down. So it'll be first down in goal for the Rangers. Ball is spotted just outside the five yard line. Panther D looking for a big play here. Petralia to give. Oh, and a great play. Great tackle there from the Panther defensive line. That tackle made by number 31, Giovanni Lazo, freshman. Coming up big. Loss of three on the play. Panther run defense has been significantly better this week than it was last week against Shepherd Hill. But they're put to the test here. Fakes the handoff, rolls out. Looks like he's going to keep it himself. Cuts back up. Is he short? No, he's in. Touchdown, Rangers. Pashada keeps it himself after the play action fake and takes it eight yards into the end zone. And just like this, ladies and gentlemen, the Rangers are down just one.
Rangers special teams looking to tie it here with the point after. Snaps high, holds down, the kick is up, and it is good. Ladies and gentlemen, we start from scratch with 2.08 to go here in the third. 13 apiece. And we'll take a quick timeout here on WMCT TV. So after five first half turnovers, Westboro has weathered the storm and now it's tied at 13. Panthers could use some excellent starting field position here. McFarland, the Turner deep for the Panthers. McFarland past the 20 to the 25. And taken down at the 25 yard line where Ben Way and the Panther offense will look to respond. One's resolve is tested in times of crisis and stress. We'll see whether or not this Marlboro offense can turn it around. Ben Way with the poor decision on the last drive. See whether or not Coach Mahoney allows him to sling it around a little bit. Option pitch, and it's fumbled. Oh, but Borges picks it up. Borges avoids disaster and recovers the fumble. Clock running, 1.30 to go here in the third. Tale of two halves so far, as the Rangers have outscored the Panthers 13-0 alone here in the third. Neely in motion. Benway runs out of the pocket, throws it deep, and it is. Is it picked off? Oh, almost. Three Ranger defensive backs in the area. Martin almost comes up with his second pick in as many drives. Panthers are living on the edge here. Frankly, the Panther offense is lucky to still be on the field after that last throw. But because of the inefficiency of the run game, Bobro has become one-dimensional. Neely again in motion. Illegal procedure. You got it. Back him up five yards. Everything that went right for Marlboro in the first half has gone wrong here so far in the second. Third down and 20, ball at the 15. Deep pass. Benway short arms it. Rodriguez tried to come back to it to make a play on it, but it falls incomplete in its fourth down and 20, and the Panthers will surely be punting here. The holding penalty on the play. 
uh, for Marlboro was declined by Westboro, which only makes sense. Martin back to return for the Rangers. Low line drive. We'll get across midfield and we'll bounce out at the Ranger 47. Marlboro defense needs to step up and make a play. They desperately need one right now. Anything to help spur the offense, which is slowed down completely. Pre-snap penalty, looks like that's going to be a false start. Westboro breaks the huddle with 45 seconds to go here in the third. First down and 15, ball at the 44. The shot is going to keep it himself. Picks up everything they lost on the penalty, so it'll be second down and 10. Under 30 seconds to go here in the third. Not sure whether or not Westboro will get another playoff here. And they elect not to. So as we make the turn for home. Panthers and Rangers tied at 13 here on WMCT TV. Well, welcome back here to historic Kelleher Field here in Marlboro, Massachusetts. We have 12 minutes of football remaining. The Westboro sideline and cheering section full of energy at this point. As Pashada rolls out to his left, has a man attack it. Ooh, in and out of his hands. Incomplete. Nice stick there by Huertas. Dislodging the ball and bringing up third down and long. Screen pass. Petral is able to get away from one. There's a flag on the play. Flag on the play in the backfield.
And that will back up the Rangers. So I believe the call is going to be block in the back. So it goes from a somewhat manageable third down and 11 to a nearly impossible third down and 20 here. Huge chance for the Panther defense to come up and make a play and get the ball back for their offense. Lack of awareness there with the play clock results in a delay of game, so we'll back him up five more yards. Third and 25. Multiple mental mistakes here for the Rangers in a pivotal possession here in the fourth quarter. Under center. Just got it. Rolls out again. It's a pitch. Petralia has it. And he's able to pick up. Close to 10 yards. However, it won't be nearly enough for the first down. So we'll see whether or not the Rangers go for it on their side of the 50 or if they punt it away. And it looks as though they'll punt. Guartes back to return for the Panthers. Jake Martin in to punt it away for Westboro. Good snap. Decent kick towards the right sideline. Stays in bounds. There will be no return as the ball is downed around the 24 yard line. And unfortunately, you know, WMCT Sports, we can't be at every game. So if you're interested in being a volunteer, reach out to us at WMCT by messaging us on Facebook. You can DM us on Twitter or X, whatever you kids call it nowadays. Or you can use that thing called the telephone. You can call us at 508-481-1373. However you choose, just get in touch with us so we can provide you with the camera trading that will allow you to record your favorite athlete's game. Pass to the left sideline. Panthers able to pick up three or so there on first down. Ten thirty to go here in the fourth. Benway in shotgun. Pizarro in motion. The throws to the flat. Intended for more. But Benway's fat, uh, pass falls incomplete. Big third down play here. Third down and seven. Let's see what Coach Mahoney and the coaching staff cook up here. Benway's had a mixed day. A couple of long touchdown passes there in the first half. Over in the second half, hasn't been able to get it going, including a poor, poor interception that was thrown on the first drive. Pizarro at the bottom of the screen goes to him. Pass is complete. Oh, the ball comes out. 
momentarily fumbled, but Pizarro's able to fall on it. He was able to maintain control through the catch and gain enough for a Panther first down. Almost calamitous there for the Panthers. I believe they had a fumble on the last drive that Borges was able to fall on top of. The give is to Semakula. Semakula gets through the first wave and carries the pile for a few yards before getting taken down at the 45. Approaching nine minutes to go here in the fourth. Another short pass to Pizarro. Down the right sideline. Picks up enough for the first down. Pizarro with back-to-back -back catches. Panthers now in Westboro territory. Again, just a reminder, Panthers win. They clinch a share of the Midwalk B uh, regular season championship. Benway looks left, has a receiver. He's open and he's caught it. And taken down after a five yard gain. The junior, Mike Benway, starting to get into a little bit of a rhythm here. Completing his last three passes. Shamrocks have picked up multiple first downs on the drive. And before the snap, we have another penalty. Can't have these pre-snap penalties if you're the Panthers in this situation. Just can't have it. Finally able to get a little bit of something going here in the second half offensively. We hope a penalty like that doesn't help stall the drive. Second down and 10. The give is up the middle. Borges carries the pile. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. Marked as a gain of four as we pass the seven minute mark. Another third down here for the Panthers, this time third and six. Last time it was third and long, they hit Pizarro on a slant. Looks that way again, this time for the screen. Pizarro, still on his feet, gets to the 40. Still a few yards short. Decision time here for Coach Mahoney. Midway through the fourth quarter. 13-13 ball game. Borges checks in, Semakula checks out. Pizarro in motion. The give is to Borges up the middle. Does he get there? He's close. He's close, I'm not sure. 
He'd kind of given himself up early. I'm not sure whether or not he got there. Oh, I think he's going to be short. I think they'll... Oh. That's too bad. I'm pretty sure Bohr just thought he had it. Kind of gave himself up there. He just stayed on his feet for another half yard. Oof, that's tough. It's a tough pill to swallow there. Tough break for the Panthers. 5.38 to go, and now the Westboro offense comes on the field with an opportunity to take the lead late. Shot it. Oh, handoff. Oh, it's a fumble. Oh, can you believe it? Samakul is there and he recovers. Unbelievable. The Rangers had stayed away from the turnovers all half until the worst possible moment. Oh my goodness. Terrible turnover. The exchange between Pashada and, per and Petralia. Hits the ground, Semakul is there. Now Marlboro's in business, 35 yard line. 5.34 to go. The handoff is to Borges, tries to break it up the other way and ends up losing a few. Tough last couple of carries for Borges. Looks like that's gonna be marked as a loss of five. Second down and 15, approaching five minutes to go. Who's gonna make a play? Benway looking left. There was a short pass to the sideline, but it falls incomplete. Benway threw that one flat-footed, had nothing on it. And almost as quickly as they get it, now Marlboro faces a third and 15. Looks right, has a receiver there, but in and out of the hands of Pizarro. He would have been nowhere close to a first down anyway. Ball spotted at the 40, fourth down and 15. Panthers, in my estimation, still at 20 to 25 yards outside of field goal range. They're going to need 15 here on this play. And before we get there, Marlboro's going to call a timeout, and we're going to take a quick one as well. 4.41 to go, 13 apiece here on WMCT-TV. So it's decision time now for Coach Mahoney. Looks as though they're going to be going for it here on fourth down. Benway is out of the game. We've got Rodriguez into punt, so they are punting the ball away. Conservative play here from the Marlboro coaching staff, electing to try to make Westboro march down the field. Good snap, punts away. It's gonna bounce into the end zone. And that'll be brought back out for a touchback. Oh, 
high drama here at Kelleher. One of the best games that we've covered live, whether it be Panthers, football, Shamrocks football, shoot, really any of the games that we've covered, whether it be baseball or, or battling, like anything. It's one of the better games that we've covered here in years. And we at WMCT TV are proud to be able to give you this coverage here. It's a great atmosphere here tonight at Keller. Handoff goes to Petralia. Oh, he's got a room. Oh, he's got to the sideline. Oh, he's at midfield. Oh, my goodness. And he's finally pushed out. Where will they spot it? He was close to going out of bounds near midfield. We have a Panther down in the backfield, or excuse me, in the secondary. Still not sure where this ball is going to be spotted. They're bringing it back. Looks like they are going to mark him out. All the way back in Ranger territory at the 47. Now we've got a flag. It looks like that's going to be on Coach Mahoney. If I'm... not quite sure what that penalty was for. <laughs> Coach Mahoney being one of the more mild-mannered coaches I've ever been around, so I'd be surprised if he said something off-color. But as it stands, the ball is at the Westboro 47-yard line after a big run by Petralia. Westboro keeps it on the ground. This time it's Pachata. He's able to get past midfield. And his momentum will be stopped at the Panther 48 after a five-yard gain. About to hit the four minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Second down and five here for the Rangers. Shot is going to keep it again. Gets past the 40, down to the 35, inside the 35 at the 34. 13 yard gain there on second down. Petralia with the handoff. And we're going to have another procedural penalty. Ball start on the Rangers. This game has had its fair share of penalties, that's for sure. Just a reminder that after the conclusion of our game today, we will have the Senior Night Ceremony here on WMCT-TV, so don't go anywhere. But we've got some business to handle here as we got two and a half minutes on the clock in a 13-13 game. Westboro facing a first and 15. 
The give, some Tralia, cuts it back up the middle. But stopped after a minimal gain. Westboro's gonna call a time here, time out here, excuse me, with 2.11 on the clock. 13-13 game, we'll be right back on WMCT-TV. Shada looking right, it's got a receiver, it's Hadley, open field. Looks like he's going to be a couple of yards short still of the first down, but more importantly for Westboro, Hadley's slow to get to his feet. Easily Westboro's best receiver here this evening. He's going to walk off under his own power. See whether or not he checks back into the ball game. Could be a big loss for the Westboro offense. So after a 12 yard gain on second down, it's third down and two. I would imagine this is four down territory. And we've got another, another delay of game. Whoa, baby. I wish we had a tally of how many penalties have been called in this game. It's gotta be upwards of 20. And before this third down and seven play, we will get a timeout on the Westboro side. I believe that is their last timeout. Looks like both teams are out of timeouts. Here with 1.18 to go. So in case you didn't know out there, WMC TTV Studios is now the place in Marlboro to host your next podcast. Our staff can train you on how to utilize the station's studio equipment so you can create and host a high quality podcast. Just reach out to us at that same phone number again. It's 508 481 1373, and we'll guide you on your path to creating your podcast. And if you're familiar with some of our work at WMCT-TV, you may have seen the Marlboro Shamrock football podcast that we put on throughout the course of the summer. So if you're interested in doing a, pod st a podcast style interview show, it would have that type of background. But we have multiple sets and multiple pieces of furniture to create whatever type of theme that you want to have. So give us a call. But it's third down and seven. Fashada looking across the middle. He's got Hadley. Oh, it's intercepted. What a play. He's going down the sideline. Will he go? Oh, he's tripped up. Oh, baby. I thought he, I thought he was going to go all the way. Oh, intercepted. I believe it was Tyler Moore. Huge play. And that is going to be the one, two, three, four, five. Five interceptions. Oh. That hold, though, I believe. I believe that was after the interception, though. So Marlboro should maintain possession, but just push back. So that does not negate the interception. However, it does negate the quality field position they should have had. Now with just a minute and a half, they're going to have to drive ball is at the, what, 24? So to go 70-something yards. I mean, realistically, they're going to have to try to go 60 yards or so to even put themselves in realistic field goal position. So this is going to be very difficult.
Enway again rolls out of the pocket. He's got Pizarro. Can Pizarro break free? Gets rid of one tackler. And then taken down. All that for one yard as we are ticking underneath a minute. Seems as though we are on the precipice of overtime here on senior night. Excuse me, 40 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. You're on WMCT TV. Great night here for football. Super excited to have all you guys here with us for such a great game. As I said earlier tonight, Friday night, a lot of things going on, a lot of options out there, a lot of viewing options, streaming options, but you've decided to spend some time here with us, and we appreciate you. Second down and nine. Another screen pass to the right-hand side, this time to Borges, and Borges able to get past the 35 to the 36 and gets out of bounds with 34 seconds to go. get out of bounds. Becoming very predictable with that quick pass out to the right. They're lucky that that one wasn't deflected or intercepted. Or just tackled inbounds. So once the ball is placed, should help. We've got a timeout here on the field. With 27 seconds to go, it'll be second down and 10. Ball at the 36 once we get back. And just a reminder for our viewing audience out there that next week we will have the mayoral debate on Wednesday between Jay Christian Dumas and some and Samantha Perlman. 6 p.m. on Wednesday. That'll be shown uh, live from the school committee building. I'm sure they won't let many people in the building for the uh, for the debate. So if you're interested in seeing it, you can watch it live with us again next Wednesday, 6 p.m. live here on WMCT TV. Throws it down the sideline. Nobody home. Overshoots everybody. Unless we have some type of blown coverage or a miracle play in the next 21 seconds, we should be heading to an overtime session. And 
Conley throws it up the sideline. Oh. That's a, that's a gotta have it play. Rodriguez, though, lets it go in and out of his hands. So that's fourth down now, and the Panthers will have to punt it away with 15 seconds to go. take away the opportunity for a turn. Short kick, super short kick that goes out. Oh, I, that's generous. I thought that went out before the 50. They're marking it out right at the 50 yard line. 10 seconds to go. Let's see whether or not Westboro try to run anything to pick up any yards. What a strange game this has been. Marlboro dominates the first half on the back of four first half, no, excuse me, five first half turnovers for the Rangers. This second half though, the Rangers have bounced back and scored 13 unanswered. Oh, there's a fumble. Pashada picks it up and is able to gain about four yards. Sports are concerned. So we've got football, college football, hockey just started up, NBA basketball just started up. And uh, in case you're interested, the Celtics are down 79-78 with 4:14 to go in the third quarter. Bruins lost in overtime last night. Got the Patriots playing this weekend against Miami. Four seconds to go, let's see what Westboro does. They throw it out to Petralia, and he's able to stay on his feet, but he's taken down outside the 30, and the clock has hit triple zeros here in regulation. So, as far as I understand it, teams will get alternating possessions starting at the 10-yard line, so it'll be first in goal see who uh, does better after the exchange. Neither team has really been able to do much in the red zone. All the scoring strikes have come outside. Marlboro hasn't really been able to do much on the ground. A couple of short runs here and there from Semicola and Borges. See, Marlboro has won the toss. We'll see whether or not they decide to keep it, defer. So Marlboro has won the toss. They've decided to defer, so Westboro will get the ball back or get the ball first. They are going to start on the left 
the left end zone here. Some uncharted territory here for us at WMCT Sports. Haven't covered a game live yet. We haven't had to use this OT in the, uh, in the scoreboard graphic yet. A lot of firsts tonight. But thankfully, we've had a great game. We really do hope that you've enjoyed this game at home. Um, please engage with us online. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know what we can improve on. And we'll certainly do our best to try to provide you with the best game broadcast that we possibly can. So first down and goal at the 10 for the Rangers to start here. Give it to Petralia. However, offside on the defense. How many pre-snap penalties have we had in this game? Just, just a gluttony. At least ten plus. Not the cleanest of games here tonight. But an entertaining one. So now the distance to go is cut in half at the five. The give is again to Petralia. He pushes forward and he is in. Quick touchdown for the Rangers. Now the pressure's on Marlboro's offense to answer. Again, a reminder, don't go anywhere. After the game's conclusion, we will have coverage of Marlboro Senior Night here at Kelleher. And by rule, there are no extra points during the overtime session. You can only go for two. So Pashada under center. Petralia with a full back in front. Oh, what a nifty play. The jump pass to Petralia for two. Sweet play there from the Rangers as they take an eight-point lead here in overtime. Now the pressure swings and rides on the shoulders of Mike Benway and the Marlboro offense. Can they produce? Neely in, Rodriguez out. Fenway, inside handoff. And he stops short. Good gain by Borges there on first down. Just picks up five. The second down and five here in overtime. The pitch goes to Borges, trying to get to the outside. Martin steps up. Can he make the tackle? No, he can't. And Borges sneaks through for the touchdown. Great sequence there from Miguel Borges. Scores his first touchdown here of the game, but we do have a flag. Now who's the flag on? So we have we have an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on the Rangers. 
So the two-point try will go from the two-yard line to the one-yard line. With the game on the line, the Panthers will take a timeout. And you know what? I need a breather too, so we're going to take one as well. So here in overtime, Panthers trail by two, 21-19. So after the touchdown by Borges, Westboro commits an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, which moves the ball from the two to the one yard line now for this two point try. As Marlboro walks to the line of scrimmage here with the game on the line. If Westboro comes up with the stop, they win. Marlboro punches it in. We go to round two here in OT. Benway has it, keeps it himself, and he scores. Well, folks, we've got some more free football on the way. 21-21, what a game. Now to all of our viewers out there watching, get on the horn, send this link to other people. They should be watching this game right now. They are missing out. Slight breeze starts to pick up here. So now here in round two of the overtime, Marlboro will begin. They'll start with the ball, and then Westboro will have a chance to respond. Fenway has it, gives to Borges. Borges falls forward. Gain of two or three there on first down. Officially marked as a gain of two for Borges on that last carry. Second down and goal from the eight. It's the pitch to Semicola, but he stood up. Not sure how much he really gained on that one. Maybe a yard, possibly two. I know because they marked it as a gain of three. So <laughs> it's going to be a third down and five. Hey, these old eyes, they don't see quite as well as they used to. You know? So two plays here for the Panthers. Fenway under center. We've got some early motion. Who's it on? Approachman on the defense. Cut that distance in half. The ball will be on the two and a half yard line here on third down. That penalty really just typifies what's happened so far in this game. Just an unconscionable, uh, unconscionable as I can speak, amount of uh, pre snap penalties and penalties in general. Hand off up the middle, the Semicola get there. I don't, and he does. Akrif Semicola scores here for Marlboro in the second overtime. As the Panthers jump out 27 21 with the two point conversion to come. 
So Panthers here with the two-point try. Go up the middle. Does he get there? No indication as of yet. Nothing yet. Still no sign. Waiting to clear some of the bodies away, and it is no good. No good. Oh, baby. So now, Marlboro. Marlboro needs to stop. If Westboro can convert on not only the touchdown, but the two point try, they will win, and they will be the mid walk B regular season champions. If the Panthers can come up with a stop, they'll clinch a share of that title. Pichotta, hand off to Petralia. Gets to the outside, tries to cut back in. Works his way inside the five. Panther faithful urging their defense on. Second down and goal from the four. Handoff up the middle to the fullback and he falls as soon as he gets it. They've had so much success with their running back to this point. Not sure why they would switch it up and give it to the fullback in this kind of a situation. Seems like they're trying, I don't know, trying to be smart. Sometimes just do what works. Well, the fullback literally just fell forward for a yard, so it's now third down and goal from the three. Pitch to Petralia, cuts it back up the middle. Is he get in? He's close. They'll push the pile. Is he in? He is. I mean, he was still on his feet. Is he, they mark him in. Touchdown. The only question was whether or not they blew the whistle before he crossed the threshold, but they are marking it as a touchdown. 27 all, and it all comes down to this now for the Panthers. Make a stop, game goes on. Westboro converts, they're the regular season champs. And before we get to that play, Westboro is going to take a timeout. And shoot, we will too. Here in the second round of overtime, we are knotted at 27. We'll be right back. Well, after two and a half hours of football here on a Friday night, comes down to this. Can Marlboro extend the game? Handoff, goes to Petralia, tries to get to the outside. He cuts it up and he scores. Game over, Westboro wins. Westboro wins 29-27 and clinches the Mid-Walk B regular season championship. Heck of a game, valiant effort from the Marlboro Panthers who led 13 to nothing at the half. However, the Rangers score 13 unanswered points in the second half to force overtime and come away with the victory in the second round of overtime, winning by 229-27. Panthers drop to five and three on the year and will await their seating in the state tournament. And we will look out for that. And if we have an opportunity to cover their home playoff game, we will certainly do that and we'll advertise so people out there know. 
But please don't go anywhere. We will have the senior night uh, ceremony right after this. But for Alex O'Neill, Mike Lawton, I'm Matt Passaccio, signing off. Have a wonderful evening. And once again, thank you so much for watching WMCT TV and WMCT Sports. I would like to start with the Marching Panther Band seniors of 2024. First, senior up Jordan Bautista with Mom Blanca and Father Gerardo. Second, Talia Highland with Mom Colleen. And then Devin O'Rourke with Mom and Dad Jackie and Dennis. And finally, Violet Wren with Mom and Dad, Rosemary and Eric. Next, I'd like to honor the seniors on the cheerleading squad. Captain Clara Barros and family. Captain Ashley Greska. Please be ready to go out with your daughter. Myla Oliveira. <laughs> Safira Rocha. Senior Eileen Santos. And finally, Captain Alia Shabazi. Now we'd like to honor the seniors of the Marlboro Panther football team. We're going to start with the lowest jersey number, number two, Dominic Miele. With family Mike and Jackie and sister Bella. Number three, Fernando Rodriguez, with mom Maria de Paula Rodriguez and brother Miguel. Number six, 
Miguel Borges. With his parents, Carlos and Karina, and brothers, Javitu and Caillou. Number 11, Tyler Moore with parents Ryan and Kelly and sister KK. Number 14, Owen Salguero with grandmother Kimberly and mother Jennifer. Number 54, Marcelo Borges, with parents Monica and Rui and brother Paolo. Number 56, Zach Chavez with parents Paul and Tina, and brothers Kyle and Nick. And finally, number 31, Jeremy Santiago, with mother Janice and sister Johnny. Seniors, and a quick word from your athletic director, Jeff Rudzinski. He's seen all of you guys grow up at the high school, and he'd like to leave you with this. Time is running out on your athletic careers. Make sure you soak it in. Think about how fortunate you are and make every practice and game count. Tears of joy or tears of regret? How do you want to remember and be remembered? What you put in is what you get back. Make it count. Best of luck to all of our seniors and whatever the future holds for you. Marlboro class of 2024. Thank you for coming folks and we'll see you next week.